Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss multiple choice questions based on atomic structure. The Heisenberg principle states that, so according to Heisenberg's principle, it is impossible to determine both position and momentum of the electron accurately and simultaneously. So here option C is the right answer. Which statement about the four quantum numbers which describes electrons in atoms is incorrect? So, we have to identify the incorrect with respect to quantum numbers. So, n represents principal quantum number and its values extends from 1, 2, 3, 4 and etc. So, it is the right option. So, L that is called as azimuthal quantum number and its value extends from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. n minus 1. So, option B is the wrong answer. That means it is incorrect with respect to the 4 quantum numbers. So, for this question, option B is the right answer. With respect to option C and D, M represents magnetic quantum number and its value extends from minus L to plus L including 0. So, it is correct with respect to quantum number. M S represents a spin quantum number and it has only two values that is plus half and minus half. Which atomic orbital is spherical in shape? So, coming to the atomic orbitals, S is having spherical shape, P is having dumbbell shape, D is having double dumbbell shape. So, S orbital will have spherical shape. So, option A is the right answer. The maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in a sublevel for which L equal to 3. So, depending upon the value of L, we can identify the orbital. If L equal to 0, that is S orbital. If L equal to 1, P. L equal to 2, D. L equal to 3 means F orbital. So, it can accommodate 14 electrons here. Option D is the right answer. The ground state electronic configuration for arsenic is. So, arsenic is having atomic number 33. And hence, its configuration can be written as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 3p3. So, here in this case, option D is the right answer. So, what is the atomic number of arsenic? that is 33. So, up to zinc, there will be no change in the configuration. So, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. Next, we have to fill the 3p orbital and here 3 electrons will be present, 3p3. Which of the following electronic configurations is correct for nickel? So, what is the atomic number of nickel that is 28 and its configuration will be. So, here in terms of noble gas configuration is given. So, the nearest to noble gas is organ. So, what is the nearest to noble gas? Organ and hence its configuration is up to organ 
18 electrons will be present after that 4s2 3d8 so all together 28 electrons will be present and hence here in this case option b is the right answer the outer electronic configuration 4s2 4p4 sorry ns2 np4 corresponds to which one of the following elements in its ground state so ns2 np4 means the outermost orbit is having six electrons let us check the below options arsenic means its atomic number is 33 and the outermost orbit contains 13 electrons calcium 20 it contains two electrons chromium 24 and it contains four electrons so coming to the five electrons coming to the sulfur it contains six electrons so option d is the right answer so the element is sulfur in the ground state of cobalt atom there are dash unpaired electrons and the atom is so whenever unpaired electrons are present the atom becomes paramagnetic if unpaired electrons are absent the atom is diamagnetic in nature coming to the cobalt its atomic number is 27 and hence its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d7 so coming to the detailed configuration of 3d orbit it is having five sub shells so we have to fill these five or degenerate orbitals with the single electron then only the pairing will be started so there are three unpaired electrons and because of the unpaired electrons cobalt is paramagnetic in nature so option a is the right answer which one of the following sets of quantum numbers could be those of the distinguishing electron of molybdenum so distinguishing electron means last electron so molybdenum atomic number is 42 and hence its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d10 4p6 5sn 5s1 3d5 so it is just similar to the top chromium so it is also having half filled configuration coming to the detailed structure of 4d each orbit consists of single unpaired electron and the fifth one is the outermost electron so let us write the quantum numbers for the last electron so 4d5 means n equal to 4 for the d orbital l value is 2 let us apply these two values so option a n equal to 4 l equal to 0 so it is the wrong answer option b n equal to 5 itself is wrong coming to the c n equal to 4 l equal to 2 okay d is n equal to again 5 it is the wrong answer so a b d are wrong options so coming to the c option n equal to 4 l equal to 2 m equal to minus half minus 1 ms that is spin quantum number is equal to plus half so option c is the right answer how many p electrons are there in an atom of rubidium so coming to the rubidium its atomic number is 37 and hence its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d10 next 4p6 
and 5sn and we are supposed to calculate p electrons 2p 3p 4p all together 18 electrons will be present in the p orbit so they can be called as p electrons and here in this case option b is the right answer a neutral atom of an element has 2 electrons in the first level, 8 electrons in the second energy level, 8 electrons in the third energy level. This information does not necessarily tell us. So, by this information, what we cannot predict? So, we can predict atomic number. Anything about the elemental chemical properties, it is having octet configuration. So, we can predict chemical properties. The total number of S electrons, we can also predict the number of neutrons in the nucleus of an atom of the element. So, it is not possible to predict the number of neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom. So, option D is the right answer. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.